Today we are talking about the brand new Seven Artisans 50mm T2. But first, if you're new to the channel, my name is Anson, and on this channel we talk about filmmaking, specifically filmmaking gear, tutorials, and a look at the projects that I'm working on. And so if that's something you're into, consider subscribing. Now last week, Seven Artisans officially launched their Spectrum Cine Lens lineup. That lineup consists of a 35mm, 50mm, and 85mm all at the aperture of T2. Now I've already reviewed the 35mm T2 and I'll leave a link to that video in the description below. But today we are looking at the 50mm T2. Now I do want to start by mentioning that Seven Artisans did send me this lens, but as always they're not requiring I say anything specifically and so you're going to get my full and honest opinion. And so with that we're going to go ahead and dive into the review of this lens and as always we're going to review this lens by the image, the build, and my overall thoughts who I think they'll be useful for. And let's start by talking about the image. Now, if you watch my 35 millimeter review, I had a lot of good things to say about that lens, and I still do. Being that this is the cheapest lens in the set at $379, things like chromatic aberration, focus breathing, as well as a not great minimum focusing distance are all present on this lens or with this lens. And so that's where I really kind of gave negative points to the overall image quality of this lens. Now that is a little bit more in a studio or controlled testing environment, but one thing I do like about this lens is how it looks in the real world environment because it really does give that more vintage vibe. If you are somebody that looks at vintage lenses, I would actually look at this lens because you do get some of the same characteristics you get with vintage lenses in a modern kind of micro cinema body. So that is a really nice thing to have. Now, if that's not the look you're going for, you may want to look past the Seven Artisans Cine Lens lineup, but if you are looking something for more characteristic, like that nice like vintage vibe and vintage feel, but in a new micro cinema lens body, this is absolutely one to check out. I feel like I'm already giving you my overall thoughts, but that being said, let's hold off on that for a minute and let's talk about the build of this lens. Now the build of this lens, like I said with the 35 millimeter, I was really impressed with. You have a decently long focus throw. I believe they're around a 270 degree focus throw. You have an all metal construction. You have an 82 millimeter filter thread. And so you can use your photo filters, which is really nice. You have a really just overall really sturdy build. But the one thing that bothered me with this lens is the mount. For some reason, I felt like there was a lot more play between the lens and the camera with this lens than any other lens in this set. But that said, again, this is a $379 lens. I wouldn't expect the most secure lens as far as being mounted to the camera, but I do want you to be aware that that may be a thing. And so that you know, when you go to buy this lens, there may be some additional play on the mount. And so between the image and the build, what are my overall thoughts and who would I recommend these to? First, before I answer that question, I do want to introduce one of my good friends, Pav SZ, because he just did a music video with one of the Spectrum lenses. And so I wanna to talk to him and get his opinion on what he thought about using these Spectrum lenses on an actual music video set. So Pav, Take it away, buddy. Thanks for having me on, Anson. I have been shooting with these lenses for a while now, and I am very impressed by the quality they deliver. I am a hybrid shooter, and I do photography as well as video work, and I never could justify buying very expensive cinema lenses. This 50mm is particularly good for me. I do like 50mm focal length. It is sharp and easy to shoot with. That superb long focus throw makes it easy to dial that sweet focus spot easier. It gives you more precise control. And no matter how much you convince yourself that your photography lenses do a good job when manually focusing while filming, you should try a cinema lens like this. It's a different experience altogether. And with a very budget friendly the price tag is the choice not only for a beginner but also any seasoned pro who only needs a cine lens for an occasional use. Combining it with my Lumix S5 in a rig like this, it is my favorite 15mm lens right now. Back to you Anson, I said everything that you told me to about this lens, 
do I get to keep it now? Awesome. Again, thanks again, Pav, for giving us a little bit of insight on what you think about this lens as far as on a music video set. If you do want to see some more S5 footage or get Pav's thoughts on this lens, I will leave a link to his video in the description below. Make sure to go give him some love and check out that video. Now, as far as my overall thoughts, I do want to say that is this a perfect lens? Is it just image quality wise, build quality wise, just perfect? Absolutely not. You are getting an ultra budget lens with this 50 millimeter T2. You will have an image that's very similar to something like more of a vintage lens. And so if you're looking for that, this may be a good lens to look at because you are getting that like vintage characteristic, but in a modern micro cinema lens. And so if you are that type of person, or if you're looking at cinema lenses and are on an ultra low budget, there are some shortcomings with this lens. But if you're okay with dealing with some of the shortcomings, I would absolutely consider checking out the 50 millimeter T2 from Seven Artisans. And so that's it for me. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did enjoy the video, make sure to give it a like. And if you're digging the overall content from the channel, consider subscribing. If you do any more questions about this lens, let me know in the comments below. And as always, thank you for joining. Go and find your journey. Go embrace. What are you doing? <laughs> Go and find your journey. Go embrace life. Peace. I really should have used the non-band-aid hand, but it is what it is. Peace. I hope you know I'm putting this in the review. <laughs>